Welcome to the world of Sims you Share Mobile, an exciting new technology from the makers of Command Sim to help you create simulations for training easily and rapidly using mobile phones, tablets, or your Windows or Macintosh computers. Please visit our website at simsyoushare.mobi, M-O-B-I, or simsyoushare.commandsim.com for complete information. I'm going to now walk you through just a few examples of what you can do with Sims you Share Mobile. From the main screen, I'm going to go to the Play. Over here you get your list of simulations, for example, Air 1. I click on it, and I'm off and running. Notice here I've added smoke to the opposite side of the airplane, behind the tail fin. So this shows one of the powerful features of Sims you Share Mobile being the ability to mask out certain areas of your photo to make smoke and fire and explosions look like they're coming from behind buildings or through windows. For example, we could be at the corner here. Well, that's a bit shocking. Now what I'm going to do is show you how quickly you can make a simulation. I go back and I click New. I type sim name, let's say Office 1. Select a photo from disk. Now on your mobile phone or tablet, it will let you choose from the camera roll or taking a picture directly. What we do here, very simple interface, new element, click on it. We have a list of elements. I can click and drag, see all of them. I'm going to take all smoke, look at some of my elements here, click the turbulent one, it pops it in place. To move and locate and scale an element, I just click on it, move it to where I'd like it to go. I can use this arrow to rotate it if I want and I can use the slider at the bottom to make it bigger or smaller. Once it's in the place that I'd like, I could use the pencil tool here to configure various settings that are based on the different element type. Brightness, opacity, set color, speed, transform, and a simple sequencer for delaying a tran uh, an effect into the scene. So for example, if I wanted to make it lighter, I could increase its brightness. Now I could also then click Done, bring in more elements, I'm going to bring a fire element here. I'll just say basic fire, pops it in place, and I put it over. Now on the left hand side I can change the order so I can make things look like they're coming from behind or in front of different elements. Scale it down, put it into place, maybe change the opacity a little, make it thinner, and I'm done, ready to use in my training. That's really as simple as it gets. Of course, Sims you Share Mobile has a lot more features. We invite you to explore on our website, and please let us know on our Facebook page or on our website how we can make it even better for you. Thank you for looking at Sims you Share Mobile.